Hello everyone, this is Shraddha and I will explain the respiratory system of rabbit. This is a member of mammalia. In this respiratory system, we have to cover introduction, respiratory tract. In the respiratory tract, there is an external layer, nasal chamber, internal layer, glottis, larynx, trachea and bronchi. Then uh, we move to the respiratory organ that is lungs. In the lungs, there is a two-part right angle and left lung. And then the uh, mechanism of breathing that is inspiration and expiration then conclusion. So first I will explain you what is respiratory system. So it is just a network of organ and tissue that can help you breathe means uh, exchange of gases. Okay, so uh, the respiratory tract. So in the respiratory tract there is a complete passage through the ear insert and um, go back to the atmosphere. So first point is the external layer. This is just a pair of layer which is present the external body of the rabbit and then uh, it is uh, open to the nasal chamber so nasal chamber is a pair of nasal chamber present in the uh, rabbit and it is uh, just a chamber hollow chamber which is separated by the internal uh, median uh, nasal septum and uh, in the nasal chamber it is just responsible for the exchange of uh, the gases and uh, proceed the gases from external layers to the internal layers and internal uh, lining of the nasal chamber is just a vascular mucus olfactory epithelium vascular means just uh, it is related to blood vessel mucus means it is just slippery and uh, olfactory means it is related to the sense of a smell and uh, epithelium is just a uh, just a group of um, tissues and cells so this term vascular mucus uh, um, olfactory epithelium means it's just a uh, layer of uh, cell and tissues which is uh, responsible for the sense of smell and uh, it is a uh, it is a uh, filled with the mucus means slippery secretion and uh, it is uh, related to the blood vessels means the blood uh, <coughs> circulate from the nasal chamber and the internal lining of nasal chamber there is a small hairs are present which is prevent uh, uh, which is just collect all the dust particle and uh, just a um, uh, uh, bacteria from the air and then nasal chamber uh, open in the internal layer internal layer is just a pathway through the air uh, and passes in the glottis and uh, it uh, have a uh, nasal uh, naso pharynx which is open to the laryngopharynx so uh, next one is a glottis glottis is just like uh, this is the epiglottis and uh, um, in this uh, um, back of the epiglottis there's a glottis so glottis is just a slick like structure uh, which is uh, uh, just uh, uh, circulate the air to the larynx and uh, there is a one uh, epiglottis present this is just a flap like structure which is uh, just a uh, cover of glottis which is prevent the uh, which is uh, closed when the when we eat something so that it is prevent to enter the food in the glottis then it is open to the larynx larynx is just a sound box it is a uh, oh, it is a nasal laryngeal cavity nasal chamber is present inside the larynx so it, uh, it is present in the anterior end of the trachea so um, the larynx this chamber is uh, is have uh, um, create the speaking sound which is present in the rabbit so it is called that's why it is called a sound chamber larynx open to the trachea trachea this is the trachea and there is a th uh, thyroid cartilage which is separate the epiglottis to the La, uh, trachea tarings ha, uh, trachea have a tracheal rings present this is a cartilaginous rings present and in the um, dorsal part there is a incomplete cartilaginous ring present so this why the ring present this uh, uh, rings just prevent uh, uh, the um, prevent the coolage of trachea and keep the expanding to allow free passage of the air so this uh, tracheal rings are very important in the respiratory tract 
now this uh, trachea uh, in the trachea there is a uh, some uh, epithelium uh, internal lining expand in the epithelium and this uh, covered with the mucous membrane so that it can just uh, um, hold all the dust particle and uh, the bacteria which is present in the air and passes the clear air to the uh, bronchi so bronchi bronchi in the thoracic cavity uh, uh, the tra uh, trachea divided into two part right bronchus and left bronchus this is uh, enter to the left bronchus enter to the left lung and right bronchus enter to the right lung so this is a bronchus which is insert in the lungs and uh, it is present in the thoracic cavity the bronchus is uh, uh, further bifurcate into small parts uh, uh, into uh, many parts that is called bronchioles and bronchioles divide into further uh, small small branches many fibers fibrous branches finer branches this fiber that is called alveoli duct alveolar duct then uh, open in the air sac that is called uh, alveoli alveoli is uh, just uh, allow the direct exchange of the gases okay next uh, the respiratory tract is just now open in the respiratory organ that is the lungs and uh, lungs divided into two parts right lung and left lung when we talk about right lung the so right lung divided into four parts anterior azygos lobe posterior azygos lobe anti right anterior lobe and right posterior lobe and left lung divided into only two parts uh, left uh, anterior lobe and left posterior lobe there is a two markable point that is left pulmonary vein and left pulmonary artery that is circulate the deoxygenated and oxygenated blood to the lungs so that the um, circulatory system is completed in the rabbit so now we move to the uh, mechanism of the breathing breathing means just inspiration means inhale the oxygen and uh, expiration is uh, just uh, um, uh, giving the carbon dioxide so in the inspiration it is a process when we take the oxygen so in this time the uh, diaphragm diaphragm means it is present uh, the lung uh, up up the lungs but in between the uh, tracheal trachea tracheal ring okay So in the uh, expiration, the contraction of the internal intercostal muscles and the ribs and sternum move in the normal position so that the diaphragm attain the dome shaped position due to relaxation of the muscles and decrease the volume of the thoracic cavity increase the air pressure to the lungs. So air expel out from the lungs that is the called the expiration. So this is all about the mechanism of the respiratory system in there uh, i can give you a brief first uh, the respiratory tract and second the respiratory organ this is all about the respiratory tract mean and uh, second is the breathing that is inspiration and expiration so that the breathing of the rabbit is completed thank you so much for watching if you like my video so please subscribe it